Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Sarah Allspaugh, and I will be your webinar host coming to you from Cincinnati, Ohio, here in the U.S. I'd like to welcome you to today's webinar, our topic, PLM in the Cloud. And I'd like to welcome and introduce our speakers today, and then I will turn things over. Let me just tell you a little bit about them, and then we will get this going here. With us, we have Bill Lewis, Tom Gill, and Guy Bursell. Bill Lewis is the Director of Marketing for Team Center with Siemens Digital Industry Software. Over his 23 years in the PLM industry, Bill has held numerous roles helping customers achieve success with PLM. Bill has guided customers on their own PLM journeys from helping customers identify problems where PLM can bring value to their organization, illustrating how PLM can solve those problems, all the way through to implementing PLM successfully. And we also have with us Tom Gill, Senior Consultant, CIM Data. Over 25 years of experience applying computer-based solutions to engineering and manufacturing. Before joining CIM Data in 2010, Tom has worked as an independent PLM consultant after spending over 20 years at high-volume manufacturing companies. Tom has a BS in Mechanical Engineering from the University of Maine. And also a little bit about Guy Bursell, our technical product manager. Guy joined Siemens in 2002, focused in services delivery of team center deployments with customers in aerospace and defense, high tech, automotive, heavy equipment, and, and energy industry sectors before moving into product management in 2016 and in recent years focusing on team center on cloud. Guy has a master's in computer-aided design and manufacturing from Cranefield University. All right, we're very excited to have all three of you here today. I'll go ahead and turn things over. Thanks, Sarah. So good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I am very excited to get to talk to you today about PLM in the cloud, particularly with Team Center X. Now, before we get started, I'd like to set the stage with some of the challenges that we find companies face. One of the things that we see in every industry is the increase in complexity. This complexity takes shape in many different ways. So first, of course, the products that are being developed are much more complex. The smart connected products that we all know and love are systems of systems, and they work within an even bigger system, the environment in which they operate, and they communicate with the cloud and so on. And often, they are combinations of mechanical, electrical, software, et cetera, all working together to deliver the smart, connected experience that we all expect. But that's not all. You know, another area where complexity has increased is simply the environment in which these companies work. Now, individual companies are working in a more global fashion than ever before. And those individual companies are themselves working with more companies together than they ever have. So complexity is absolutely one of the greatest challenges that companies are facing. So with that being said, what are some of the things that need to happen in order to address complexity? So regardless of the industry, we feel that there are three key things, three common denominators, if you will, that will help companies address and even leverage complexity. So if we look, for instance, at the automotive industry, for example, what we find are challenges around things like electrification and new powertrain technologies, vehicle lightweighting for fuel economy, autonomous self-driving cars. If we look at a different industry, say consumer high-tech electronics, you know, they face challenges with time to market, where beating your competition to market with, say, a new cell phone by a matter of just a few weeks could really lead to huge market opportunities. And then still other industries who are innovating with things like new business models where something like as a service where you don't just sell a product, you sell the deliverable or the output of that product for a certain period of time. So regardless of the industry we look at, the bottom line is that these three denominators, common denominators can be used as a competitive advantage to overcome and even leverage complexity. So first is a comprehensive digital twin. Now, a comprehensive digital twin clearly is much more than just a 3D representation of your product. 
It's also much more than just the simulations of your product. And it's much more than just the real-time feedback from your product in the field. The comprehensive digital twin is a combination of all those things and more. You know, it's developing what your product looks like and what it will do. It's also virtually developing how your product will perform. It's understanding how your product is manufactured. It's simulation to prove what the product does and what it's supposed to do. It's capturing the real world performance and how that product performs in the field. And then finally, it's closing the loop. Closing the loop, taking that real world performance information to make your product development more informed, to make manufacturing processes more efficient, to make your simulations more accurately reflect the real world. So a comprehensive digital twin is critical to addressing the challenge of complexity, regardless of the industry that we're looking at. Now the next differentiator is working with a personalized and adaptable modern platform. What this means is that companies need to be able to respond to change very quickly. As new challenges arise, or as new business models are addressed, again, such as things like as a service, the platform needs to be able to adapt it needs to be able to keep the customer on the cutting edge of what is possible and how to solve those challenges. Then finally, the last differentiator is a flexible and open ecosystem. You know, few customers start with a blank slate. Every company we work with has certain tools in place that they consider best in class or processes that they need to keep. Any tool they deploy needs to be flexible and open enough to work within the context of the company's IT ecosystem. But that's not all, it goes much farther than that. No company is also doing it alone. Whether it's working with suppliers, working with partners or joint ventures, or working with OEM customers, every company is working with other companies to make their products real. A flexible and open ecosystem needs to make companies working together easy as well. So at Siemens, the accelerator portfolio is where we make this happen. This is where we create a digital thread that ties together mechanical, electronics, and software. This is where we build and manage the simulations that prove that our products work. This is where we plan and execute the manufacturing processes to make our products real. And this is where we collect real-time feedback from how those products are performing in the field and in the real world. And it's all tied together with a digital thread for collaboration that brings all these unique disciplines and domains together to successfully deliver the smart connected products that we all know and love. So to talk a little bit more about the digital thread for collaboration, I'd like to introduce you to Team Center X, Software as a Service PLM. Now, Team Center X does a number of things that we believe are required to help customers on their journey towards digitalization and to address those areas of complexity that we talked about. First, Team Center X provides instant on PLM. Now, this goes much farther than just the provisioning of the software in the cloud very quickly. It's a lot more than that. Team Center X also provides built-in best practices so that you as a company can become more effective much more quickly. Also, in order to make sure that your users are productive as fast as possible, Team Center X provides targeted onboarding and artificial intelligence to make sure your users are able to use the tool as quickly as possible so you can become productive and effective and get value out of your PLM deployment immediately. Now, Team Center X also grows with you. Team Center X is Team Center, and Team Center is a very broad suite of proven PLM solutions to address a number of different business challenges, such as providing a multi-domain bill of materials, for example, where you can manage mechanical, electrical, and software altogether. And a customer can get quickly started with PLM, and as their needs grow, as new challenges come up, Team Center X can grow as well, adding new solutions or expanding on existing capabilities. Then finally, Team Center X is built on a modern cloud platform. I think we all recognize that cloud computing is changing the way we work. 
You see, the cloud is really much more than just hosting, and Team Center is taking advantage of that. The cloud provides unlimited flexibility in, say, scalability, both scaling up, scaling down, and it's more than that. The cloud also allows us to take advantage of new modern computing capabilities for database technologies, for reusable multi-tenant services, and so on. And all of this is part of Team Center X. But I'd like to back up a little bit. I'd like to hand it over to Tom Gill. So as mentioned, Tom joins us from SimData, the leading PLM analyst firm in this space. And SimData has done a lot of work in the cloud and has a lot of great input on why it's important for PLM. So with that, I'll hand it over to Tom. Tom, over to you. Thanks, Bill. Uh, so today I'm going to talk to you about some of the benefits of using a modern PLM solution in the cloud. Um, and what we're starting to see is growing adoption both by users and then technology advances. And so we're happy to be here and uh, to work with Bill and, and Guy and the rest of the Siemens team in talking about the cloud. So just a quick uh, bit about SimData. We are a strategic management consulting firm. We focus solely on PLM. We have three elements to our business. Research, where we do both market and technology research. Education, we offer uh, a variety of uh, PLM-related certificate programs. And we do, historically, we've done those face-to-face. Uh, but lately, we've been doing them 100% online. And the biggest part of our business is consulting. We do uh, strategy consulting with industrial companies and with solution providers, but we do maintain ven vendor independence by not selling or implementing software. So to get started, I want to uh, just review uh, SimData's definition of PLM. PLM is a strategic business approach. It's not just technologies. Uh, it's focused around uh, creating, using, managing, and disseminating product intellectual assets, the digital data, the everything that you want to uh, describe your product with, from uh, requirements through engineering artifacts, uh, manufacturing output, and service data. Uh, all the way through the end of life, we see that data moving up and down the supply chain to both suppliers and to customers. And it can even, uh, we often think of smart connected products, but it can also extend to plants and factories. Um, those are all products as well. So what's PLM in the cloud? I want to do a little bit to set the context here. Um, there's certainly a lot that's been said defining what the cloud is. Uh, the definition seems to have coalesced around three different aspects, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. In the case of infrastructure as a service, it's uh, effectively hosting or a remote data center. And all the major cloud providers, uh, Amazon with AWS, Microsoft with Azure, Google with Google Cloud, and uh, Alibaba in Asia, are all offer these services. And most reasonably modern uh, software can run uh, leveraging infrastructure as a service. Today, we're really focused about platform as a service and software as a service. The advantages of cloud, uh, the accessibility, the fast startup, uh, the elasticity that Bill talked about, improved security, um, that's all. Uh, you get those advantages by taking advantage, by using the uh, technology and the programming interfaces from the cloud providers. In the case of platform as a service, you're uh, coding your application to take advantage of it. In the case of software as a service, your software provider actually rents you the software or leases you the software. Um, and they manage the details of running the software on the platform. Um, big thing with software as a service, it reduces the administrative and support burden on the industrial company taking advantage of it. The other thing is the business model uh, often can change a lot. 
you get uh, rather than having to buy permanent licenses and cap capital expense, you're able to rent your licenses uh, with subscriptions. Uh, because you're, you have a subscription, you're able to adjust up and down, and the model on the cloud typically is to be able to adjust up and down monthly. Um, but we are seeing some innovation where they're actually uh, offering subscription or time-based subscriptions, essentially software by the hour, um, which makes for a very interesting model. Um, the net result of all this is companies are able to focus on their product and business processes, not on their IT infrastructure. So does cloud fundamentally change PLM? No, in our opinion. It's still about people, process, and technology. It is an underlying platform change, but it's still computing technology that supports business. What it does do is it enables more collaboration, more scalability, uh, you don't have to go through large uh, projects to justify and then implement technology to scale up. You just increase your subscription and the cloud provider turns it on. Um, we do want to, uh, one little caveat here down at the bottom of the slide. Just because a solution built uh, with the modern technology approaches, it doesn't mean that it's future proof. One of the uh, things that we watch over is, has the software or the software provider been able to upgrade their technology to move from one computing architecture to the next, from mainframe to uh, mini computers, to workstations, to Windows servers, and now to the cloud. And certainly we've seen Siemens do that uh, over the years. So now uh, a little bit about uh, research. We ran a, SimData ran a research project uh, a couple of years back, and uh, we believe the data is still uh, pretty valid. And why were people, we asked the question, why are people looking uh, at PLM in the cloud? And ultimately, it's the benefits. Um, you can read through the list of benefits here, but they primarily evolve around cost and flexibility, reducing your upfront expendit capital expenditures and startup costs um, can have a big, make a big difference on the financial ROI. Certainly that outsourcing and ease of management and, and scalability is important. Um, big, uh, Implementing in the clouds faster. The instance is already up and running. It's you add your data and start moving forward. As a put, anyone who's implemented an IT system knows uh, the headache of uh, getting hardware and software implemented locally in a data center. And the subscription costs uh, are predictable and you can forecast and align it with your growth. Uh, one of the things with this year, we're all very aware of COVID-19 and what we're hearing from our, both our uh, industrial companies, clients and software clients is that there's a lot of, a lot more interest in moving to the cloud. And it's not so much about uh, cost anymore, it's the flexibility that you get. Um, the uh, issue with moving to the cloud uh, or the work from home issue caused a lot of uh, sleepless nights when it first launched. IT people were uh, concerned that their internet connections were not going to be able to provide access to their servers, to their end users. Were they going to have the capacity? Was the secure firewall going to be able to keep up? Uh, in general, it worked out, but um, there was definitely a lot of stress and it's causing a lot of interest in moving forward because that uh, uh, the capacity and elasticity issues are managed by the cloud provider. So moving forward, uh, I don't want to just paint a rosy picture here that uh, is, uh, PLM in the cloud will solve all your issues. Remember, PLM is a strategic business approach. You got to address people, process, and technology uh, equally to be successful. Uh, different companies have different risk profiles, and you can see the list of concerns they have here. And I don't have time to go through them all in this presentation. So if there's any that uh, catch your attention, certainly ask a question at the end of 
the session, and if we don't get to your question, we'll get back to you. Um, but the big deal is how do you manage that risk? And the risk I want to focus in on is the first item, integration. Just moving to the cloud doesn't do a lot to mitigate that risk. In some ways, uh, it potentially increases that risk. Uh, chances are you'll still have some solutions in the data center and integrating from the cloud back to your data center may, be, uh, may have some significant risks, especially if you have internally developed code that wasn't designed to go outside your firewall. Um, so one of the big things with Team Center is um, uh, for for clients that have already had Team Center in house, is they've they've already worked out many of those integration issues, and because te your on prem instance will move to the cloud uh, directly, it should be pretty straightforward to get your integration back to those other applications. And for new prospects, Siemens has a long history of integrating to. Uh, most applications and many different custom applications, especially at big companies. So you should be able to move forward and be confident that you can get your integration done uh, with the Siemens technology. So uh, starting to wrap up here, what does SimData see from our research? PLM on the cloud is a major trend and it's starting to gain rapid adoption and we think COVID is going to accelerate that. Uh, the exciting thing with uh, a solution like Team Center is it has very broad and deep capabilities um, that are needed to in order to get that full digital thread up and running. And those benefits the, that um, you get from moving to the cloud are well understood in other applications and they will apply direct to PLM. As we talk with solution providers, what they're telling us is most prospects want to make sure that they can run on the cloud, if not implement directly on the cloud. We're seeing PLM leaders moving their full product suites to be native on the cloud. It's a big deal. They have a lot of code and capability to move, and they're starting to get there by taking advantage of microservices and containerization and uh, some of the other cloud-based technologies. By delivering these complete solutions, they're going to be able to support their complete value chains and extend those benefits up and down the value chain. SaaS is a big deal. It can be a lot simpler for companies, especially looking to start up. Um, you can uh, choose the modules that you want to bring online and scale up as you need as your process, processes change. Big thing, it's still PLM. You still need to address your legacy processes to digitalize them to move forward. That digital transformation is really what you need to do to get uh, the full benefit of your product. We're seeing solution providers replatforming. Siemens has done it. They support multiple clouds, multiple cloud providers. And with containerization, you're able to move uh, easily between them. We are seeing COVID-19 as driving uh, cloud adoption forward. And at SimData, we do believe that PLM on the cloud is the future. And uh, Team Center X is there now. And it does offer the benefits that the cloud promises. And you should consider it in your roadmap if you're uh, 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 either implementing, if you're a Team Center customer or if you're looking at Team Center for the for a future uh, project, and so that covers my presentation. And I'd like to hand it off to Guy, and he's going to give you more detail on Team Center X. Okay, thanks, Tom. Uh, I want to first spend a few minutes uh, looking at what uh, Team Center X is. And uh, it's really important to understand that Team Center, X, Team Center X is Team Center. We've got all the modern advancements made for Team Center X that are also made for all Team Center customers on premises and on cloud. And on premise cloud hybrid environments that can be configured so customers can start, start up or migrate to the cloud at their own pace. A key point that's often overlooked 
is that we understand an on-premises option is critical for certain industries, especially those involved in sensitive uh, industries such as defense or with extreme environment configuration and traceability requirements. Team Center X compatibility with Team Center provides customers with this option. An important driver for us at Siemens is the concept of no customer is left behind. Continuous innovation reduces risk both for Siemens and for customers. Team Center X can give, uh, give our customers confidence that they won't be left behind regardless of their chosen implementation path. And with upgrades included and operations provided for you, Team Center X is designed to really allow you to focus on using and not running Team Center. So Bill introduced the three pillars underpinning Team Center X earlier. Instant on grows with you and both delivered through a modern cloud platform. And I want to take a deeper look at some of the top customer challenges that the Team Center X evolution is addressing versus traditional PLM deployments that I've seen over the years and why. So first, we'll start with Instant On, and this really is about productivity. And organizations face challenges in traditional PLM deployments that make it difficult to get up and running quickly and achieve that fast ROI and ultimately productivity. Whether it is determining what and how many servers are needed, how much disk storage we need, whether new or network, uh, additional network infrastructure is needed um, when users are spread out across multiple locations. Capital investment procurement is not a fast process, and then hardware has to be delivered, installed, configured, and supported. I've seen a lot of projects over the years delayed or impacted as a result of these types of challenges. Predicting what hardware and disk storage is required over the next three or five years invariably leads to high upfront costs. Whether that capacity is used or not, it has to be paid for, which means resources are very frequently underutilized. Adopting new technologies in traditional environments, such as machine learning, AI, and platform technologies, such as containerization, is much more challenging as architectures are typically rigid from the time of deployment and require specialist skill sets to incorporate. Take, for instance, needing to uh, um, deploy Kubernetes container management to move to a managed container environment, and just what that would take for, uh, for your IT department. Testing is often one of the most challenging aspects of traditional PLM deployments, indeed for any major enterprise software applications. From having to purchase additional hardware to being able to test processes in a representative way, I've seen over the years, this is what often makes or breaks successful deployments. And with PLM projects typically driven by IT departments, users often fail to get the experience they expect and the onboarding process is inconsistent and difficult. Ease of use and achieving user productivity get sacrificed in place of just being able to get the technology deployed. So Team Center X's SaaS approach provides an instant on PLM capability for you using simplified solutions and industry expertise that are built into every deployment. This eases the onboarding of users and ensures the success of PLM which has been built on data-driven analysis and telemetry of user actions and flow. Siemens drives the deployment of Team Center X, taking care of all the software and hardware requirements, operations, maintenance, and very importantly, upgrades. Customers have access to training and Siemens consultation to ensure that users have everything they need to get up and running quickly and successfully. Team Center X offers functional and domain-specific package solutions that incorporate best practices based on many years of industry experience. These solutions contain pre-configured capabilities, such as document management, release, workflows, bomb management, CAD integrations. And they're all intended to simplify PLM without taking away the ability to address complex issues. Ultimately, we want customers to focus on using rather than running PLM. So next, I want to focus on factors that hold PLM back from growing with you. There are many drivers towards growth. Could be the number of product ranges and complexity expands. Uh, new products are introduced or acquisitions. There are increasingly regulatory and compliance requirements that need to be adopted, all of which expand the number of users, the volumes of data, and the PLM functions that are needed. 
with the changing business landscape, as new opportunities arrive uh, that organizations want to take advantage of, they're held back or feel boxed in with their current architecture. If an organization wanted to add electrical design, for example, to their current mechanical design um, processes, the question is how quickly can you react? Ensure that you have the capacity to meet the needs of your users, and then efficiently and effectively rolling out these changes in your existing PLM architectures. Every traditional PLM deployment is different. As PLM, <clears throat> as PLM functions expand throughout the enterprise and beyond, data often still resides in various silos. There are inherent challenges we see in making data available for collaboration securely and efficiently and in a timely manner. Access must be opened up to these data repositories without which inhibits the ability to create and validate your digital product and process models across all relevant domains and functions. So with Team Center X at any time, customers can opt to add in more Team Center business and engineering solutions. So examples, the product configurator, capital asset lifecycle management and requirements management, um, all to fit new or evolving functional needs when you need them. Team Center X provides a seamless expansion to the Team Center portfolio. Because Team Center X is architected to take advantage of the benefits of the cloud, it scales automatically both horizontally and vertically as needed, much more quickly and reliably than in traditional PLM architectures. Remember, you are no longer constrained by reaching server or storage capacity on cloud as you are in traditional deployments. Instead of incurring the overhead costs associated with long-term guesses, you only consume what you need, uh, thus managing to control costs much more efficiently. Compute and storage on cloud is essentially infinite, meaning you only pay for what you use so that customers are never left boxed in. And you can add electrical design, for example, to your existing processes at any time when you're ready and without having to wait for capital investment and procurement, or the next time a traditional uh, deployment upgrade is uh, planned, which could be several years away. Okay, so finally, let's look at the, uh, the modern platform and what really prevents future readiness. Traditional PLM deployments require numerous and diverse IT resources and skills, not just in server storage, network hardware, but DBA who look after the databases, IT administrators who are responsible for operating systems, patching, and other key components such as your web application servers. Remember, no two traditional deployments are the same. This all leads to increased costs, not just upfront costs, but maintenance, support, and then planning for upgrades and patching to keep software up to date. Cost and complexity are also the top most frequently quoted reasons why high, high availability is often not a consideration by customers in traditional deployments, which leads to a single point of failure. Imagine a hundred or even a thousand users who suddenly cannot work because the database server crashed or there's a network switch failure or your data center suffers a power outage. And by the way, I've seen all of these myself. Some of them, even, uh, even in the middle of uh, an in-process upgrade, these can take hours or longer to resolve. It's a common story with too many single points of failure. Traditional PLM deployments are typically not, in the, are typically in the domain of IT departments, and they love technology, but these architectures as I mentioned earlier, are mostly frozen in time from the day they're deployed and only change with a major IT re-architecture focus. Given the rapid pace of change in the solution and technologies, customers find it very challenging to keep up with advancements. Technologies that are it today can become outdated and irrelevant very quickly. And so we go full circle back to planning and we begin again. So, Accelerating innovation requires a modern, flexible, robust PLM platform that's built for evolution, not revolution. Team Center X can scale automatically, quickly, and efficiently through a combination of order scaling of resources, both horizontally and vertically, automation to remove manual interventions, and only use as much resource as is needed. And this does not just apply to cloud services and resources, but to the Team Center application software too, using the deployment center. 
Team Center X not only shares technology in a common code base with Team Center, but also extends it using multi tenant services. We have evolved the Team Center architecture and introduced microservices and containerization. Team Center X is also built using industrial components from the Siemens Mendix low code application development platform, such as authentication and file storage microservices. Cloud platform services used by Team Center X are built to scale as needed and are highly available, reliable, and durable, and are used for critical PLM components, for example, the database. Here, Team Center X has evolved to use the Amazon Aurora database engine. This is just one of the game changing technology evolutions that Team Center X is de delivered with. Remember, compute and storage and a host of other cloud services are essentially infinite, removing barriers. And where possible, these services are used for what they were designed for, to take the load. By leveraging the right technology in the right areas and at the right time, Team Center X is able to deliver the performance that uh, our customers are demanding much more effectively, efficiently, and quickly. Team Center X is also a secure PLM cloud platform built on industry best practices and standards. For example, Team Center X has already achieved SOC 2 Type 1 certification, and we're moving forwards towards others. So having said all of this, I'd like to pass you back over to Bill, who's uh, going to draw all of this together and, uh, and wrap us up for today. Excellent. Awesome. Thank you, Guy. Tom, thank you very much as well. Um, all great information. Um, so we've heard a lot about PLM in the cloud. We've heard a lot about how Team Center X addresses PLM in the cloud. I encourage anybody who's interested, everybody on this webinar, please go ahead and take a look. There is a Team Center X trial that's available that you can access where you can see how we walk users through many of the common use cases that address problems at companies, how to find and reuse product information, how to work with the bill of materials, how to take part in change processes, how to manage product-related information, such as engineering documentation and so on, and even how to work with CAD in the context of Team Center X, including NX as an example. So I, again, encourage everybody to take a look at the Team Center X trial to learn more about how all of this works. Now, to wrap up, to summarize, Team Center X really addresses a lot of the challenges that we find um, in solving complexity. It takes advantage of the cloud to bring instant on PLM capabilities to get productive quickly. It expands and grows with you, leveraging the full suite of Team Center capabilities. And again, built on a modern cloud platform so you know you're always leveraging the latest and greatest with regards to computing technology. So go ahead, visit Siemens.com slash Team Center X to learn more about it and link to that trial and take a look at what Team Center X can do for you. And then with that, I'll pass it back to Sarah, our host. This concludes today's webinar. Thank you so much for being here, everyone, and have a great day.